Now, Let Loose comes to you with another What's Trending Now. It, what it is, is trending? What trending? Yo, what's trending in the world today, guys? Okay, we got Beyonce and her daughter, Blue Ivy, has stopped their partnership with Adidas. They are really in trouble now. They need a big signing fast, or they will be the latest brand to go bankrupt this year. For real. Have you heard anything about this? Because Ye left them. They're in, they're talking to Ye again or whatever. They're like, man, we, we, we might have to work out a deal with you. <laughs> now Beyonce, now Beyonce is leaving now with her daughter's brand. She she says she wants to go independent. She feels like she can do that stuff by herself. And I'm with her. Rightfully so. Her. Right. For real. So what have you heard anything about this and what you think about it? I haven't heard uh, really anything about that. That's news to me. Uh, but yeah, Adidas is in some trouble if that's the case, man, because losing Ye alone, that was their soul. That was their backbone for years and years, basically putting them back on the map. So yeah, uh, they're going to be in big trouble. If they can't uh, maintain these relationships they have with these top top dogs. You know what I mean? Did you see uh, actor Jonathan Majors, Mayers got arrested for domestic assault and strangulation charges against his girlfriend as they were getting out of a taxi cab in New York City when conflict occurred. Police arrived and seen minor injuries to his girlfriend, and then he was arrested. His lawyer claims video evidence will clear his name and show he was indeed the victim. Did you see that? I did see that, and I hate all those false allegations and stupid shit like that, for real, man. As soon as this man have a big movie, now all these allegations come out, for real. What kind Multiple of big is, movies. Bro, come on. What kind of girlfriend is you or whatever? You just want to do something because you got mad? What is that? You feel me? I don't, I, don't, I don't like that shit, bro, for real. Right. Well, I mean, we don't know, allegedly, so I mean, until man, we know, he, no, but... He ain't do that shit, bro. Fuck that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the U.S. dollar is now appraised at 87 cents now. And it looks like it will go low in the future. Have you heard anything about this? That our dollar is basically worthless to a lot of other countries? I've not heard about this, but that has not surprised me considering the economy and what it's like. And it, it, it just doesn't shock me, man. I don't want to get too political about anything I, I want to say. But yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Not. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to get political either, but Florida Senate has voted for open carry throughout Florida. So do you think this is a good move for Florida with all these crazy motherfuckers in the city, man, in, in the state? You think I it's a good idea to, to have the open carry? I do actually, but um I mean because it's Florida, it's Florida has stand your ground law anyway. You don't even need to be like if somebody's in your on your property, they don't need to be coming in your house. You are legally allowed to shoot them if you're in fear for your life in Florida. So, I mean, open carry is not going to really do, you know, too much. It's not going to really change that much in regards to uh, the laws if you rightfully and lawfully own your firearm. So, yeah, that. Right. I don't know. They're doing it in Georgia or whatever. Look like they're having a, a good year so far because everybody got their pistols out, out there in Georgia, man. So. They stay wild in Georgia, especially okay. Atlanta. Okay. Chanel West Coast is leaving the show Ridiculousness after 12 years on the show. Her next step is producing TV slash different entertainment content through Paramount. She signed some uh, contract with them. I don't know exactly what she's going to be doing next, but uh, how you feel about this, bro? I think the show's going to be a lot better without that stupid ass <laughs> laugh. You got to hear everything. <laughs> Like no shade at her, Chanel. You know, she, you know, she's cool. You know, she seemed like a cool yeah. person to chill with, party with, all that. I'm not throwing shade, you know, but that laugh just got obnoxious, bro. And and yeah, I really like that show. So mm -hmm. I like that show too. But shout out to Chanel, man, for real. Go ahead and do your thing. I know she do music and stuff too, or whatever. So hey, so she, yeah, she might she, have some stuff going on. She might have some stuff going on or whatever, man. You know they're gonna pop that stuff out. You feel me? Especially in LA, you know. Yeah, we can do without her music though. Again, no shade yeah. thrown, but. Yeah, she's she going to be another Paris Hilton out here, man. For real, party. <laughs> you seen Lil Boozy wants to start a GoFundMe for the dudes that jumped Takashi 6 9 Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. Yes, 
<laughs> Boozy be wilding, bro. I love Boozy, but he be wilding. I, I do too, Boosie, bro. bro. I've always loved Boozy, bro. Boosie keep that shit real no he matter. He keeps it a thousand. Man, he don't man, care. He don't what care. What nobody say, bro. No backlash, man. That just roll off his back, man. Shout out Boosie, man. We need you for the culture, man, at all times, bro. Protect Boosie at all costs. You ain't lying. Wah. Boosie. Hey, Boom. But yo, about the about the Takashi being jumped though, do you think it was staged or do you think it was legit him getting jumped? I don't know, man. You know, you know he's a big publicity stunt, man. So he he might have did that stuff or whatever because they weren't really like getting off on him, man. Why would you record that stuff or whatever? Why would you be recording that stuff and incriminating yourself? You feel me? So I just don't get that part of life, bro. So I don't I don't know if he did it or not, man. It, it, I I think he might have. I think he might have, bro, for real, just to get back in in the scene, you know. It could be. I don't think it was staged, but it, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me at all if we found out that it was. But whatever. We got more better. We got important things to talk about. I just want to throw that out there. What's next for us? You know, they got Good Burger 2 coming out, man. Keenan and Kenny. I seen out that. Good I Good seen Burger that, two, bro. bro. The Nickelodeon classic, man. Good Burger 2, bro, man. I'm hella excited to see Keenan and Kenny get back together, man. For real, you know, you know, uh, Keenan been doing his thing for a minute though. For real, with the Saturday right. Night Live, man, he been he, he been getting that paper, bro. He don't look a day older than freaking seventeen, bro. He right. been doing he been doing his thing, man. He he getting his paper, man. Getting back with his own boy, whatever, man. That's re- some real deal stuff, bro. For real, so shout out to the game, man. Shout yes. out to the game. When's that movie supposed to come out? They know is it like are they just about to shoot it or is it about to drop this year or what? I'm not even sure, man. I just heard something or whatever. I think it was on Jimmy Kimmel or something, man. So I just heard about this stuff not too long ago. I just wanted to share with the people. Okay, yeah. It'll probably take a minute, but yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good to see that anyway. So I also got a uh, Rodney Terry, man, from Texas Longhorns, the intern, man, ink the five year deal with the Longhorns. So yes, sir. Shout out to Rodney Terry, man. Yeah. Securing that he deserves bag. it, bro. Got him bro. to the tournament. They was making yeah, noise. Man. They should have went farther than what they did, but. Mm-hmm. Not bad for interim coach stepping in, taking over, but he for definitely real. deserved that job. I was glad to see him get it. Yeah, Congratulations, Mr. Big Terry. Time. Big time. And keeping it up, keeping it on basketball a little bit, man. Kate LeClaw is the first person with a 40-point triple double. So shout out to that young lady out there in Iowa, man. She had a 40-point triple double, had 41 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds for Iowa, man, in the tournament, bro. So shout out to Girl Power, man. Girl Power, shout out for real. Yeah, that's insane, man. That's uh, crazy. The only reason we don't cover more of the women's tournament, it's just harder for me to keep up on that. I mean, it's so hard to keep up on the men's tournament this year because it's been such a crazy off year with that alone. But, yeah, that's a hell of a game. Congratulations to you. And I got one more thing, man, before we sign out, bro. So it's a challenge out here asking people, do they want dinner with Soldier Boy? Or do they want I'll take the food stamps. I'll take the food stamps. Brothers food stamps. And everybody shouting out in Jersey and whatever, <laughs> man. They're like, give me the motherfucking food stamps. Mm-hmm. I don't want no dinner with Soldier Boy, man. For real. Man, and Soldier Boy went off on his Twitter, bro. <laughs> Not oh, yet. my God, bro. Hey, this man will rant your ass to death, boy. I love a soldier boy rant, especially the one on the bridge. <laughs> that was my favorite of all time, bro. For real. I don't have to hear any more soldier boy's music, bro. As long as he give us a good rant every now and then, man, for real, man, he down with me, bro, man. Shout out soldier boy and the 250. The 250 and the food stamps. Young Draco. <laughs> Calm down, young Draco. Yeah. Boy, that's a must watch, man. You gotta watch that. SMD this and all y'all broke bees yeah. and ringing jersey. This and that. I wouldn't have dinner with y'all no way. Soldier oh. boy, young Draco, the first rapper to do any to, to do to do everything and everything. Anything. Okay. Believe it. Young first Draco. One. Oh man. I got one for you. Cam Newton throws at Auburn's pro day. You think he's going to get another shot? He looked all right throwing it. He didn't look like overly impressive. I watched a little bit of it. He didn't look terrible. He didn't look overly great. But you think he's going to get another shot on an NFL squad? I don't know if he will, man. I think they might have blackballed him out, though, because they had Joe Flacco. They had freaking Zach Wilson. They had freaking Josh Johnson or whatever playing for the 49ers or whatever, man. Is, is he not better than any of these guys that for I just real. named? For real. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm not saying he a start, but he probably could have started at some team at least, bro. Like, 
some teams went through like four or five quarterbacks in a season, bro. You think Cam Newton got a call? I don't even think that man got a call, bro. You feel me? So he could at least be a quality so, backup, bro. And he knows the game. Bro, I, I don't understand it, bro. It definitely looks like some black ball and shit to me, too. I just don't get it or whatever. Cause I know I know he's pretty decent, or whatever. I know his last year was bad, but bro, like I said, man, you got all these guys out here, man. Man, they be bringing up names, man. They had Chad Henney. Chad Henney out here, man. For hey, real. watch freaking it now. Balling. Legendary balling, Chad. <laughs> balling. Balling out here behind freaking Mahomes, bro. Like you can't you can't get behind somebody like that, bro. You all know, right. like I, I just don't I get agree. It, I just don't get it. I, I think he should get another chance, but I doubt if he will. Same. We, I concur with you on that, and that's a damn shame. The last thing I got is Dennis DJ Hernandez, the older brother of Aaron Hernandez, was arrested for throwing a brick at ESPN headquarters in Connecticut. The brick had a note that read, it's about time that you all realize the effect media has on all of its family members. Since you're a worldwide leader, maybe you could lead how media and messages are delivered brick by brick. Clean it up is what the note read. Mm. And he was also arrested a few weeks beforehand when many believe was a bipolar episode that resulted in a wild police chase when cops tried to pull him over after he was driving erratically. The chase continued on foot after he ran, but he was apprehended. His mother is highly concerned, to say the least. Right. Should be. I guess that bipolar stuff running their family, man, for real. This is a sickness, man. We got to get, get control of. You know, maybe he's not taking his medicine or something or whatever, but, man, I, I give a, uh, my heart and prayers, man, to the whole Hernandez family, man. I, y'all have been through a lot already. So, like, I hope everything goes well for you, whatever. Those are not the ways that you go about things, bro, for real. Stay out stay out the law's hands, bro. For real, you can't do that stuff. Yeah, that whatever. ain't the way you want to go. Was, yeah, because they'll punish your ass, boy, for real. They don't give a damn about you, for real. And, you, and your brother's record and stuff like that, too, for real shit. They're going to treat oh, you yeah, like you a, a hot target. Straight up animal. Mm-hmm. You ain't lying. Mm-hmm. Big time. Big time. That's what we got trending right now. Yeah. If we miss anything, let us know. Comment. What else is trending? What did we miss? What y'all want us to talk about? Write it in the comment. 